Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's moon and energy report reading. This was a flash sale that I was offering a couple days ago where um, I was going to pull some cards for the full moon and also do a little bit of an energy reading for the clients. So <laughs> I'm gonna start with the, um, the energy reading. I'm gonna be using my iPad here so I could read off my notes because I emailed them to myself. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get right into your energy report and then after that we will pull cards um, and we'll go from there. Oops. So, um, for your energy, what happens is um, I was focusing on the photo that you sent me and I was just, you know, feeling out everything that was coming forward, whether it was something I was hearing, feeling, or seeing. Um, and I had instant mermaid vibes. So there were instant mermaid vibes that surround you. Um, I put seeing a blend of mermaid energy and then there was also a blend of sunflower energy as well that, are, that surrounds your head. Um, the mermaid energy is more like the aura, which I will get into um, after this. So, but, but so like the mermaid energy, like I said, is, is, was more like the color associations and your aura and the sunflower, um, was surrounding your head. So there was like multiple sunflowers surrounding like the, the whole, um, circumference of your head. And it reminded me of like a, just this gigantic, um, flower crown. Um, and they were beautiful and large. <laughs> I was taken back to two past lives. So while I was focusing on your energy, I was taken back to two past lives. And I'm calling them past lives, even though one of them I feel is a little bit different. Um, so the first one I feel is either a recent past life that your that your soul had, or I was tapping into a family member of yours that was actually living out this life. Um, and it's very influential on you personally. So what I was seeing was um, uh, like a past life or like an image of um, being a flower child in the 60s. So when I was seeing those um, sunflowers around your head, um, it, it really took me back to the 60s of the whole, um, that movement of the hippie movement which was from the 60s to the 70s and I just I felt like it was like a very free flow very Aquarius energy um <laughs> we are currently in the Aquarius season so um it matches kind of like what we're feeling right now astrologically um but very Aquarian energy and just very free flow um young very young carefree um experience <laughs> so I don't know if this was either your soul's per like a past life that you had where it was it had to have been very recent because the 60s um, wasn't that long ago um, so it could have been perhaps you were re reincarnated like very soon so you had you lived out your life in that era and then you um, you know reincarnated into the life that you are in right now or I put down um, uh, quickly eat you uh, if you either quickly reincarnated from a past loved one in your family so this is like a a mother's someone in the mother's side is what I was feeling a reincarnation of them okay um, or I may have been given a flashback of a beloved member of your family who ha who was fond of or who has fond memories of their life in the 60s during the start of the hippie movement so perhaps there is somebody in your in your mom's side um who lived this lifestyle and has amazing memories of this kind of a lifestyle during this era um and perhaps it was very influential on your family or on you um and so that's what i was i was tapping into with that the other past life I envisioned was of a different planet. 
Um, so this now, and, and I'll give you a little backstory of this. So the, <laughs> cause this is going to sound very weird. The planet that I was, um, that I was seeing. And so what happens is, is when you, when I meditate and I like to focus on a lot of different things, but whatever comes to me is it's almost kind of like when you wake up from a dream and you remember your dream and it makes absolutely no sense. That is similar to what I experience when I'm focusing on you guys. So this particular planet that I'm talking about was one that I've already seen in a meditation and it was one where I've already, I told my husband about it because it had to do with him where um, I was seeing like what he looked like as, um, you know, if he, you know, if or when or whatever you want to, however you want to believe this, um, in like another form, so like an extraterrestrial form and whatnot, what he looks like as an alien basically. And so I, I say that with like, <laughs> with a smile on my face because um, I know how, how weird that sounds and this isn't necessarily the type of conversation that I would have with just anybody so <laughs> but I'm sure because you were getting a reading from me that you understand and you you know this kind of stuff might sound weird but at the same time um you get it so it was the same planet basically okay um so I put I envisioned was a different planet this world was it's purely water um, and this associates with the mermaid vibe that I was feeling from you right away. Um, it's purely water and it has it, it mer people inhabit this planet. Okay. Now the mer people on this planet or like the creatures of this planet are much larger in size than what we are. So you think of us as a human form, we're usually in around, um, five foot to maybe six foot two, um, is usually like the average and for this like these creatures are very large when you think of our oceans and how large the creatures get the whales and, and all of that it's kind of like that it's like this planet is nothing but water so anything and everything that lives in it expands just like when you have like a fish tank <laughs> and you have little fish and then you get a bigger fish tank the fish grow to the size of their environment so that's how i'm seeing this with this planet so that's what I, that's what i was seeing and that's what i was picking up on um so i just took the notes down um <clears throat> these mer people were much larger in size than we are and their skin has a pale scaly blue hue to it so it's almost like if, if the water was reflecting on their skin so much and they they live in the water so much and that's why like a lot of the whales and the sea creatures and stuff they have like blue tints to their to their skin or to their I guess their skin or their scales is <laughs> because of the water um so I was feeling like the hue of your skin is, it was a very pale blue color and then there was scales. So it's like in the cartoons and, and the, the artwork that we see of mermaids now, like I, I brought my little mermaid figurine here. Um, people depict mermaids as literal human beings with the flesh, you know, or human flesh and then a fin of a fish. Now, that is, you know, somewhat accurate, I feel, in terms of how some of them could look like, but it's almost like we were all, like, all fish, um, with a humanoid kind of, a, like, we have the face and we have a mouth and everything, but more fish-like than human. So the hue of the skin was a pale blue, little scales, very dainty, like, very, you know, just very dainty. And then there's gills, like giant gills that come out. That was one thing that I remembered when I meditated for my husband, like what he looked like to me and <laughs> and his gills. Like I remember like we're just so big coming out on either side of his neck. That was like one major thing I remember. And then the second one was the eyes, which for you, I was seeing the same thing. Um, large red eyes. That was like a very... Um, a for sure thing that I will I will never forget from that experience that I had in the meditation um, is the large red eyes very fishy you know how like the fish eyes are very big and round that's how these creatures look like with the red eyes um, and just giant gills that come in and out um, I put they have um, long stringy hair 
um, with giant red eyes. So the hair is very stringy. It's it's hair, you know, um, but stringy like it, like kind of like spaghetti. I don't know. I can't explain it. <laughs> but it that's I mean that's at least that's how I was seeing it. Um, now you really have to take it for what it is when you are meditating and you are connecting in that way. You got to take it for what it is. Um, things that you see in your meditation, you may not believe it because we are here on earth. We are, a lot of us are, are taught to disregard a lot of this weird stuff. Like we're crazy for thinking this or we're, you know, it's just a dream or you're just dreaming or whatever. Um, so you take it what it is and that's what I do. Like when I meditate, if I see something like that, you know, it could just be maybe I was dreaming. I don't know, but, um, for the sake of your reading, that's what, that's what came to me last night. So, <laughs> so I put that down. Um, and it was really cool because I've already had that experience prior with my husband's meditation. So, um, for yours to see the same thing, it was really cool. Okay. So then I put the sunflower as a sign for you from your guides. Um, I was really feeling like that connection, like your guides are showing the sunflower for a reason. And I wrote, they will reveal sunflowers to you as a reminder to look on the bright side and to remind you to embrace your being. So it's almost like to remember who you are and also as a reminder for you to be positive and to always look on the bright side of every situa situation. Even though maybe you're going through something rough at the time, look at the positive in that situation and learn from it. Um... I put the sun, your sun sign resonates with you very strongly. Um, and I feel that your guides want you to study more on it. Whether you study your sun sign or you you get a reading about yourself with your, you know, your birth chart and all of that. Um, I feel like your guides really want you to look for more about yourself. Um, which is probably why for your reading, why I was getting a lot of the past life stuff for you. Um, maybe they, they really want you to learn more about yourself to get that appreciation for who you are. I also put, there is a need for you to learn more about yourself. You deserve the fullest appreciation and love for who you are. Um, then I got into the aura. So what I saw is <clears throat> I was seeing a blend of golden yellow and sea greens to your aura. Hence why I was feeling the mermaid vibe, but then also the sunflower. Because when you think of sunflowers, you automatically go straight to that, that yellow color. Um, I'm seeing the golden aura from the top of your head down to your shoulders. So from, um, from up here <laughs> to about your shoulders was all like the golden, like gold. Um, and of course, that's where I was seeing the sunflowers, like all around your head, right? And then I put, um, and then it begins to blend with a lime green. So about this area right here, like your, your chest area where your heart chakra would be, <clears throat> the lime green color would start to come out because the two colors were blending. And then as you go deeper and down towards your feet, it turned into a more aqua color. Okay. Um, I'm seeing flowers growing around the base of your feet. So <clears throat> when I meditate on your on your photo, I'm just usually just seeing your face, which is what you sent me, like the, the selfie photo. <laughs> but what I do is I like to imagine like the whole form of your body, okay? So then what I was seeing was um, flowers growing around the base of your feet, a symbol for you to pay attention to the beauty the gentle beauty of life in everything that you encounter. This is um, gentle beauty of life. I, I That was like what I was getting from the flowers. Uh, flowers are very important to you. Um, they are a symbol like that of gentle beauty or just seeing the delicateness of life. And then I put um, your home life and your foundation is important to you and it needs to be watered daily so that I was taking as paying close attention to yourself and giving yourself the nutrients whether this is eating healthy or this is drinking water or giving you you know taking a step back and having alone time um 
treating yourself every once in a while, whatever it is that you do to love and show love and appreciation for yourself is very important. Um, I put, I see a long tail form from what appears to be like a tiger. So, <laughs> so then when I was like looking at, like when I was seeing your whole form, it was like I was seeing like a long tail coming out from behind you. And it was, a, a, it had stripes, so I associated that with a tiger. Um, and I put an animal guide, perhaps, and then I wrote, make a note to look up tiger animal guide. So let me get my little booklet so I can read to you what a tiger is. <clears throat> so what I have here is... Um, the Pocket Guide to Spirit Animals. And let's see if the tiger, here he is, in all of his glory. <laughs> so the tiger is, remain focused, be very patient, and you will soon receive a surprise that will help you achieve your goal more quickly than expected. You will soon find a way of healing from a physical condition or an emotional disturbance very quickly, followed by a noticeable increase in vitality. Create a sacred space in your home that is completely yours, one where others may enter only with your permission. And take the time to enjoy the solitude in this space. You will soon be experiencing a surge of passion and power that will remain with you for some time. Get ready for a new adventure, one that may present some challenges, but will introduce dramatic changes in your life. So it's kind of like telling you, get prepared, get ready. There's going to be some big stuff happening. And also protection and keeping your home or your room kind of like on surveillance watch. It's like you don't allow just anybody or anything into your space. And if you do have a lot of like guests and people walking into your space, be very aware and cleanse it. Take good care of your space is basically what it's saying. Um, and then it says the Siberian tiger. You'll be taking a long journey soon. One that will be refreshing and restorative. Make it a point to enjoy your sensuality and do a lot more touching. <laughs> so I feel like it's kind of like saying like enjoy yourself. You know shower yourself with love and gifts and attention um get ready for a journey get ready for some new stuff some changes up ahead that kind of thing and then overall i put overall your energy is healthy and alive um continue to get more sunlight as you need it on a daily basis so sunlight is very important for you you have a very close bond with the solar energy versus the moon. You are a watery creature with the mermaid energy. You are a natural, natural, intuitive, and a mystic waiting for her time of expansion. So I feel like um, you naturally have interest in all of this kind of stuff. And I feel like more of that is going to come out of you in time. Um, perhaps that is why I was given that message to tell you to learn and dig deeper and learn more about yourself because maybe that is when all this stuff is going to start coming out more for you. Um, and then I've said pool from the Oracle of Mermaids deck. <laughs> so that was, um, that was <clears throat> the deck that was coming to mind when I was, um, taking notes on your reading. So I did, I pulled out the oracle of mermaids and that's what we're gonna do so that was your channeled energy reading your portion for that and the next thing i'm gonna do is pull a couple cards for your moon so we just had the full moon <clears throat> yesterday um and this full moon was really special because it is a super moon a blue moon and a lunar eclipse and all of the above and it was in the sign of leo which was like if you guys know leos leos are front row center they love the attention kind of thing some people had a very positive experience from this moon 
that was me. I was feeling very good about it. I felt on fire. And then there was a lot of people who were feeling very just disruptive and not connected. They were feeling very emotional. <laughs> usually I'm emotional, but that's for new moons. Full moons, I usually feel pretty good. Um, but a lot of people were not having this, this lunar eclipse. They were taking it really hard. So um, it depends, I guess, on, on you and where your signs are at in your chart. Okay, so for your moon, we have freedom. What a beautiful image. So freedom says independence and self-determination. So one goal from this, and when I say it, when I say from the full moon cycle, I am talking about from yesterday through to until we have the new moon. So for the next, um, what is it? Like usually it's about two weeks. Focus on freedom is very important. The freedom energy for you is, I feel, taking off some layers that you have for protection or for um, comfort and really stepping into your own and, and be your own person, you know, embrace everything about you, whether it's the good, the bad, the flaws, you know, um, really get comfortable in your own skin. I really feel this moon had a lot of sexual energy as well. So I feel like for you, it's just getting comfortable with yourself on a sexual level too. Um, she's a very, like you could tell just by the look of her with the fiery red tail, very sexual um, vibrations coming from that card. Then we have sacrifice. There are those worth making. There are those that will destroy you. So for the next two weeks, the sacrifice card can be an indication of perhaps the need to make a choice, okay? So the two of the two of pentacles comes to mind with that need to make a choice, the, the need to make a decision. Sometimes you have to make a sacrifice for a gain. Sometimes we have to sacrifice our, um, our comfort zones for the sake of... Um, for the sake of growing, <laughs> for the sake of, you know, reaching the next level or the next phase in our, in our path. Um, it says it's worth making and then there's, there are those that will destroy you. I feel like it's, it's all about discernment for the next two weeks. If you feel like you are making a decision, really ask yourself, is this going to benefit me or is it benefiting somebody else? Because I feel like for you with the freedom card, I feel like it's kind of like breaking your chains that you have to other people. And a lot of my clients have this same struggle. And I feel for you too is um, you guys will put yourself last and you will do whatever it takes for other people. So it's kind of like, you know, are you making a sacrifice for, for your personal gain versus for someone else? And I feel like that's what that card is, is talking about for you. And then we have divine, yeah, divine sensuality, make love and erotica. See how I how I mean about that sexual energy? It's high with you. I, I'm feeling it too. I'm feeling it myself. But I feel like um, there is definite sexual energy around you. Maybe you are feeling very comfortable in your own skin. Maybe you're feeling extra turned on and just like charged with this like need to put yourself out there. Maybe you are getting a lot of attention from people and people are you know seeing you as a more sexual being than just a person <laughs> maybe these people are attracted to you right now and or you feel like you were attracting a lot of attention maybe you are flirting freely and you just feel really good um either way it's it's kind of like embracing yourself embrace your womanhood embrace your body and all of the traits of you and just like enjoy it I, i'm totally vibing with this too i'm in the same boat so <laughs> that's really cool i love that that came up the last thing i want to do is pull a tarot card or two because i feel like um you know the tarot can give us a little bit more insight on the sexual energy so let's let's pull on that let's see this is from the good tarot by the way It's such a big deck too. It's like hard to shuffle sometimes. So 
So give us some more insight on the sexual energy that my client should be tapping into for the next two weeks. The Ten of Earth, the Nine of Earth, and the Messenger of Fire. I love that the Messenger of Fire came up for you because that's the page. I believe it's the page of um, wands. <laughs> so, and I, I associate fire energy and wands energy as very sexual energy as well. Um, so there probably is going to be somebody giving you a little bit more of attention than the next two weeks. Perhaps you are noticing it. Maybe there is somebody who's been talking to you more. Maybe there's someone you have your eye on that you've been flirting with, that kind of thing. Um, and then I have the nine and the ten of earth. Earth energy is telling you to remain grounded as well. Keep in mind. But it's these are the cards of abundance. If, if there are any cards of abundance in the tarot, it is the nine and the ten of pentacles. So I really feel like this is going to be a really good month for you, especially the next two weeks. Um, you may be reading other people talking about the negatives of this solar or solar, the lunar eclipse. A lot of people have a very negative feeling about this lunar eclipse because they were experiencing the low of it. But I don't resonate with that. I experienced a really positive and I feel the same for you. So don't let those people influence you. You are on a high. It doesn't mean you have to bring yourself down for the sake of those people. Enjoy the fact that you are having a powerful moon and embrace it um, and allow yourself to receive the abundance that comes with it, okay? So this concludes your moon and energy reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you, you know, got a lot of useful information and I look forward to reading for you again in the future. Bye, love.